friends, welcome to Jerry Bear Reacts today. We're going to react to season 12, episode 7, aka episode VII of Supernatural entitled Rock Never Dies, which can only mean one thing Vince Van Santa, Vincente, the baby G Fuel Tower, is in the other G Fuel Tower, is, is uh, going to return as Lucifer because Rowena force pushed his ass to the bottom of the ocean. So, yeah. Last episode was really good. Really, really good sidebar episode with the life of Asa Fox and just getting more more depth to Mary, to Jody, to those other characters. I enjoyed. That's all I really have to say. Uh, we'll get the Lucifer in probably in this episode. Hopefully some Cass and some Crowley along the way and maybe some more British men of letters. I'm not sure, but for now, Jerry will do his best work behind the scenes. I'll go ahead and boop right there. You're going to see me for a second. Got a little bit different bit of a setup here. Make sure my subtitles are on and let's watch. Rock never dies. Dark playing, Lord. Playing the music backwards. That's what they did in Little Nicky. Apollyon. Beelzebub. Beelzebub. Hum <laughs> Come on, Gordy. This is serious, dude. I was really hoping for a second that that was going to be Ghost Facers, but they didn't have wicked beards like these guys dude it's not funny <laughs> you, you asked lucifer to drench you i didn't write it okay it's a satanist society of america approved summoning i found it online yeah like you found that artifact face it adam your satan feather is faker than my stepmom's chinatown fendi it's real it's a rock. i like well, it's that fossilized i like that a guy named adam is trying to summon lucifer a feather from lucifer's wing the seller excavated it from one of his crypts but the sea did not help so you boys are actually the reason he's out from underneath the ocean. Right. Under Azeep. With a little power up. Vince is dead, dude. Like this that body has been through so much shit already. Hey. So much. Won't last long, but it'll do. So kinda of famous. <laughs> Kind of. That's what you get for talking shit. Huh. Adam and Gordy, dead. Kind of famous. Supernatural. Words with friends. Who are you playing with? Playing with your mom? It's actually a really good way to stay Twerking. in touch. Oh, yeah. Twerking. Way to go, Dean. 67 Impala. That can't be a word. They just put check the dictionary. Seriously? What? So I've been trying to dig up info on the British Men of Letters, keeping an eye out for cases, and you've been goofing off with a game that went out of style five years ago? I don't think mom's quite ready for Snapchat. Right. You're playing against mom? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mega word. Now she's kicking his ass. You were saying? Her name is Mother Mary. Bless Mother Mary, 1983. Is that when she died? And then 67 Impala, 327. Huh. Way to go, Dean. So how's she been lately? She's good. Yeah. Unfortunately. <laughs> it's fucking that smile. Lucifer? Actually, yes. What is the news? How come every time Crowley gets a drink, he's got that little pitchfork in there? Does he request that? Hair metal lives. Bloody Messiah. Lady Heart. What a bunch of wild ass names. I know a guy. Hollywood. Are we gonna go meet Lucifer? That'd be fucking amazing, wouldn't it? Like, you know, from Lucifer. It's the young talent. Ah, uh, okay, so that's why he knows him. He's been making deals for Crowley. Giving him the fame and fortune, he gets their souls. souls I'm with you now. Yeah, beep, beep, beep. You have been pleased with our arrangement so far. Oh, as Punch. It's a podcast on the history of the Protestant Reformation, a multi part exploration of each of Martin Luther's 95 theses. Oh, yeah, that's what I thought. <clears throat> Oh. 
I was just about to say that man ain't listening to that she's over there, probably listening to Vince. Sam, hair rock, really? It's not Come hair, on. it's not hair rock, Dean, it's hard rock, it's legitimate hard rock. <laughs> wow. Ain't nothing hard about it, bro, it's that's flaccid yeah, rock. A dude by his I'm still very curious about the whole Lucifer thing, just because, like, the way that him and God were kind of working together to stop Amara, like, they had their conversations, like, what happened? I wasn't expecting Lucifer to be a good guy, but, like, where's... Maybe hopefully we get some explanation on it because it feels like there's a, a gap. Maybe a third tier agent. Secret. At least they don't urgent. look like a lumberjack. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, enough. talk your shit, Cass. Yeah. Where's Crowley? Lumberjack Dean. Oh, Idiot. Us here. Frankly, I appreciate the break. It's been weeks and he's been right there just talking and talking and talking. It's relentless. As he starts to talk again. Hello, Crowley. Don't listen to him. They're best Feathers friends. And I are all but inseparable now. Feathers. You find anything? <laughs> he called him feathers. Yes. Oh, shit. Vince Vincente is riding with the devil. Okay, so what now? That he's trying to act out some rock god fantasy? No. Who wouldn't? I found hey. something. Good job, Dean. What is that? that it appears to be a human tooth. Is that an earthworm? Oh. Pulled out by the root. It's made my whole fucking mouth hurt. That's the place you choose to cut. You could have cut anywhere, top of the thigh or something. You gon' ah! girl needs therapy and better friends. Whoop whoop. Mrs. Greenfield has lost a lot of blood. Best. Vince Vincente didn't. The whole thing. Blood. She cut deep. Thanks, doctor. Well, again, <laughs> together again. Yay. <laughs> They're best friends. Oh, I love it so I much. I understand what happened. But I've been a king. Having been people king. look at you like you're everything, knowing that once they buy in, you can make them do anything. It's intoxicating. That's exactly oh, that's what he creepy. wants. Okay, so this trying to get you involved into the story get you involved he wants you to be on your hands and knees worshiping in him as a god essentially it's concert All so you know we're we're hip exactly who plays what i'm on keys he's on guitar. drums drums and guitar pretty much do it all <laughs> <laughs> we saw online that you represent vince vincente we were kind of hoping you could do for us what you've done for him. Right, you know, just bring him all back up to the Sorry. level. Sorry, took this meeting because you looked hot in your pecs, but I'm not feeling this. You know what, we're not actually here for the meeting. Vince's show tonight. Where is it? Who are you guys? None of your business, you look. must have noticed. Vince is different. It's crazy that Sam pulls that look all better than Dean does, I by the way. don't know. You're messing with hellfire, Russell. In a crowded place like this? Girl like me, two guys like you. Guess what happens next? Bye bye. The worst. Look at the dog go. What's up, buddy? And you said you put the fear in Russell. I thought I had. Yeah, these yoga types. Just when you think you've hushed their mellow. Yeah, well, I've been looking everywhere online, and uh, no one's linked the venue yet. Oh, you getting some vegetable water there, Dean? Go ahead, give it a shot. Seriously? What? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I can bury Lady R. I own you. Do you? Yeah. Russell, you got a whole lot of talk coming on, bro. You gonna make us? Oh. You're gonna make you stab yourself with a fucking pin from Dr. Dre. Hey, man. Vince, what are you doing? Hey, man. Vince, hey. stop! Hey! Vince! <laughs> man stabbed himself in the neck with a pin. Next thing you know, his mouth was all red. Just immediate blood? All right. 
Oh, poor Russell, bro. He was enjoyable. Well, see y'all inside. Should have listened to Sam and Dean. Three minutes tops. Then I'll buy you three minutes. Cass, don't be a fucking barter, bro. Make it full. Oh, if he goes, you go. Uh, what? I help. Yeah, thanks, Crowley. Crowley wants to be on our team. He's a wholesome boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see that crowd its leader. Dead. How do you feel about the show, Tommy? You just killed two of his best friends, so probably not good yeah. anymore, dickhead. Me too. The nerves. Whoops. Guess we should have practiced before tonight. You know. Ever. Who are you? Who I was. I'm the well, that doesn't matter. Who I am. Trying to protect our wholesome boy Tommy. To kill our guy had much shorter hair than Cass. Did you bring the rest of the little rascals? Maybe I'll just take it. Poor Tommy's just Why? like, what the fuck is because happening? Because it's fun. Because I can. And because being a Lucifer, so much Judeo-Christian baggage. But Vince, he's famous. Everybody loves him. <laughs> And I need love. I had a really jacked childhood. Get out of there, Tommy. Hey, Tommy. Tommy did Vince deserve that, man. Fun. Oh, I wouldn't expect you to understand. I was inside you. I know what. You said I penetrated you, son. Weak, duty bound, pleasureless, doubter you are. <laughs> The random dude yelling fire stop here. He's beating his shot into electric guitar. Clever girls. Look at all them pretzels going to waste. Man, so for look at his look at the intent in his eyes. He's so fucking serious. He's got a good. Sam, you strong as hell. Damn. No, uh, uh. Hey, ass butt. Ass butt, Jakob. Good shit, Cass. Good callback. Sam, enjoy the show. Rest in peace, those handcuffs, brother, brother. You forgave him. There we go. That's what I've been wanting. What would he think? Not especially interested in his opinion. Why? Because he left? Your old dad. He finally apologized for abandoning me. And, and what's the very next thing he does? There we go. I wasn't thinking of that at all. He did choose me. <laughs> and you too, by the way. And rides off into the sunset with Auntie Amara. He needed my help. And he'd say anything to get it. His words, your words, they mean nothing. Don't you get it? This is all meaningless. Heaven, hell. This world. If it ever meant anything, that moment is past. Gone. 
Nothing down here but a bunch of hopeless distraction addicts. So filled with emptiness, so desperate to fill up the void. You don't mind being served another stale rerun of a rerun of a rerun. I ain't gonna say a word. I really appreciate them for making everybody's smoke different. Especially his having like a holy presence since he is an archangel. How you feeling? Damn, Crowley. Dead. And yes, I know the third album. No, he was still a person. And he meant something to a lot of people. And Lucifer just took all that and just twisted all that up and snuffed it out. Mm -hmm. Especially old girl right there. You carved his Lucifer fucking name into your chest. When he had a plan, a motive. Now he's just having fun. I mean, how many people died tonight? Them, uh, this, it's all on us. We let him out. We're not winning. We're just losing slow. And Just what losing he slow. Onwards and upwards. He's gone big. And he'll go bigger. And we will stop him. We need... We will. I know what we need. It's what we do, man. I have a couple of ideas that just popped into my head. Here's what I think. We need Mama Mary, but a couple for a couple different reasons. So, what I was initially thinking was we need the rings from the horsemen, which should be in South Dakota, where Bobby was, right at Bobby's house is where they buried the rings. If we get the four the rings of the apocalypse, the four horsemen of the apocalypse. If we get those, then we can potentially send Lucifer back that way. You know, open that hole, put him back in the cage, etc., etc. Or, we get Mama Mary. Because remember in the last episode, Billy made that deal. Maybe we could do something, you know, Reapers don't kill people. But maybe something where Billy can reap Lucifer or put him in this purgatory type place in exchange for Mary. Maybe she gets adjusted to this real world and she comes back and she does all of this stuff. And just as John sacrificed himself for Dean in the start of season two, uh, she can do the same thing here at the end of season 12 because we still have the number two involved 10 years later. Yeah, that would that would be the crazy bits right there, but uh, that was a that was an okay episode, nothing crazy, just more focusing on Vince Vincente and Lucifer, just like we we expected it to. Castiel and Crowley close in on Lucifer as the fallen angel realizes his new rock star vessel allows him to get fans to do whatever he wants. He couldn't get the new blood. The show never happens. Nobody had to witness him not being able to perform. One in five, and uh, yeah, it just kind of. That's just kind of it. But the big chunks is the relationship between Crowley and Castiel is enjoyable because Cass is super annoyed. And they're more like a brother situation where Cass is essentially like a younger brother, it feels, and or maybe even an older brother. And Crowley's just there pestering, right? The older the one brother, the young brother. Uh, I want more of them. Dean playing words with friends with his mom, wholesome. Sam listening to Vince's music. But the, the end of the day, like they said, they're just losing slow because... Vince is dead and he just signed this record label and all these fans come out of the woodworks. It would just be like any major band getting back together. Like if Pearl Jam got back together and all of a sudden people start dying or if, you know, Black Sabbath does one more tour and then Ozzy passes away before he can even do the right thing. It's it's a lot of, there's a lot of layers to it, but they're losing slowly. They need more options. It sucks Russell died. Russell was a cool character, but Crowley saying that L.A. is his city. 
that does make sense. Everybody's because everybody's selling their souls, like we mentioned earlier, for deals. So yeah, I get it. It was alright. I don't think it's gonna make any list, but there's definitely some good shit in there. So season twelve, episode seven, aka episode VIIs, entitled "Rock Never Dies." Season twelve, episode eight, entitled "Lotus," all in caps, L O T U S. And I'll see you there, and we'll see how Lucifer gets a uh, gets his new vessel. For now, links and everything will be in the description box down below. Playlist will be up on screen. Stay cute, stay hydrated, and I'll catch you on the next one.